Okay, so we have a square prism of side of base of 30 millimeters and an axis of 70 millimeters, which is completely penetrated by another square prism of side of base 25 millimeters and axis uh, 17 millimeters horizontally. Yeah, both intersect and bisect each other. And we want to draw uh, the projections showing the curves of intersection. All right, so perhaps we can start with the front view of the prism uh, on the on the horizontal plane. Uh, okay, so this is an interesting one. All right, so to get the correct axis or to get the correct projection of the prism on the horizontal plane or standing on the horizontal plane we would first have to make projections of it from the um, from the top view okay so let's draw in the top view first so i click on polygon the number of sides obviously is four uh, and then i want to use the edge method and i know that the edge is uh, is it 30 and then i want the angle to be 45 like that okay and so now i can make projections of this to get the front view so let's do that uh, let me go ahead and just use line so i can project this up a little bit i don't know so let's say 50 now this distance here obviously i would have to track it from there let me put this on all right like that and then this goes up by 70 Okay, so for me to get the projections uh, of the prism, which is penetrating horizontally, again, I have to draw the side view of it first. So basically the same method. So um, let's draw in the side view. So the go for polygon and then again, size four. Uh, let me draw it in first and then later and then let me click on edge so uh, right so so the side here is 25 and of course i want the angle to be 45 like that okay now i can move that by its midpoint like that and then make sure that it coincides with this somewhere i mean the midpoint all right so let's now draw in some some axis so i go for line and then a horizontal so a horizontal one and then line so a vertical one like that and then so this angle there should be 45 okay so i want to now project uh, lines so let me project this there right and then this goes up okay so like that and then uh, basically, I can copy uh, all of these. 
so see you for copy then I can copy this from here to that point now what we want is this has to be at the midpoint of both the horizontal and the vertical right so I'm going to move this okay and then where it has to be is the midpoint like that okay so I'm going to project this to get the front view so obviously that is that so half of the 70 as this will be 35 and then I can move down up to this point like that and then like so and then trim this and mirror mirror these to get that and then no okay and then for the top view of the penetrating um, prism it's still basically the same uh, dimensions with the same as this way I can copy those so see you for copy and then I want to copy by the midpoint which is that point and then I want to position it here at the midpoint of this like so and then use extend to extend this there this one there this one Okay, so I'll make projections of this side view. Okay, and then one more. okay a little modification here let's make sure we have the correct right it should touch the mitre line and then okay so until this point okay so now we can go for the rectangle to and then that should start from here that is that point and then we expect the length to be 70 and then the height of it should be whatever value this is okay okay so we can use break at a point you know to break this line at that point same thing break this line at this point and then break this at that point enter break this on that point and then these two ought to be hidden lines so we can use hidden lines there okay so now we have the correct views in place 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to label them all using the methods that we usually would use. Now don't forget before we do that we ought to connect and then this end as well and then okay so now let's we'll look at the labels and uh, Okay, so at this point we are almost ready to produce the curve of intersection. So, uh, as we do, let's use a line. So, we project point A going through C. So, A going through C until I touch the mitre line. And then go to my left until I hit the interpenetrating prism. Or the prism that has been penetrated that is going to be at point three and then i move all the way up right and then point a is there so this is where they meet i can connect this back to it for you to see so that is point a and then i can go for point b so b goes through this line and then through that line until it touches at this point so from that point i can now draw this and then i expect point b to be at the midpoint which is somewhere uh, there so i can connect again for you to see what i mean so that's point b and obviously point c is going to be at the bottom here at this point okay so to do that let's go for po for point and then there will be point a here B will be there and then C will be there. It means that on the other side I'm going to have um, point C occurring here and then uh, point D will now be somewhere there. Uh, I would mirror that and then point um, A will be here. So what I want to do is I want to mirror so for this point I want to mirror that so I'll select it and then MI and then I'll mirror by the midpoint okay so these are the points required so I can now go for and then this time I'll use a line. So connect from here 
to that point and then like so and I can do same I could either draw in or mirror like so and then if I were to trim this part would go away okay let me reconnect the yellow line or the construction line that goes there and then I'll put in the required labels and that will be the solution um, required in any case let's not forget to draw in this hidden line And then a hidden line here. connection there should be hidden okay So after putting in those labels, this finally becomes the required solution.